going on everyone and welcome back to the Rav my youtube channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to gpu mine pulsar now i do urge you guys if you're still mining pulsar on your cpu to pull off the network this is severely dominated by gpus now ever since wild rig released its miner now if this helps you out in any way be sure to hit that subscribe button thumbs up and bell notification to be notified for future videos as well as help share this video across the internet so that we can help other miners out as well everything i do talk about in this video i will have a link in the description but i will not be able to paste the uh, link in order to install this the latest version anyway into hive os because YouTube just won't allow me to do it. I'm sorry we had the same issue with T-Rex Miner in the past when they had the LHR unlocker. So I will have it pinned in the Pulsar chat in my Discord. But regardless, by the time you see this video, hopefully Hive OS has officially released the latest Miner anyway. So continue on what I just said we did have yesterday. Hive OS has updated to this latest miner that was the latest yesterday when we looked at the profitability. Now, as of this morning, there is another new miner which yet furthers the curve hash improvement of another 1.5 times on your GPUs. And Hive OS does not yet have this again. In the morning, they may have it, and all you need to do is simply update to the latest Hive OS version. But there are workarounds if it's not yet there, and again, link will be in the Discord. A few statistics here. The hash rate has been skyrocketing. Look at this. We're at 3.51 giga hash now, guys. That's insane. You know, depending on the price, I don't know what the rewards are really at right now, but obviously the profitability is probably dropping. With that being said, this is also just another coin to keep in the back of your mind, just in case, you know, when Ethereum does drop and everyone floods the other coins and may forget about this. Remember, this one is still here, but who knows? It may still be profitable. A lot of testing still needs to be done. And if we head on over into Xbitron, this is the exchange here and there's an USDT pairing. I believe there's also a BTC and whatnot. When I show you guys how to mine this, I will be utilizing Zerg pool. A lot of you guys want to know how to get paid out in Bitcoin. So that's what we'll be showing you guys. Zerg pool will mine Pulsar for you and then pay you out in Bitcoin. So we can see the current price is sitting at 0 0.005, so slightly above half a cent here. And we have seen some prices coming up. Some people said, thanks for pumping and dumping. I did not sell anything, guys. I still have all my coins. We're going to look at that later on. I actually hit three solo blocks today, which is worth 90 Pulsar each. You get a full block reward per solo block that you get while staking. So I made a little over a dollar just staking this Pulsar. So myself, I'm holding on to this coin till at least the next bull run. But again, a lot of you guys do want to get paid out in that big bad Bitcoin. All right, so the first thing you guys are obviously going to need if you have not mined Pulsar, you're going to need a wallet. And you can find it, again, link in the description. A lot of people, I could not find this on the website. And I went to their website, I could not find it either. All, the, all that was on their website here, if we scroll down, is a link to this miner. Now this is SRB miner, and that's for your CPU. So I went into their Discord. Under the announcements, I just scrolled up until I found the latest version of their updated wallet, clicked on that link, and that brought me to here. So again, I will have this down in the description for you guys to click on, and here is where you get your Pulsar wallet. Here I am on my server PC with my capture card, locating my wallet where I do have it stored. And I just want to show you guys that I have all my Pulsar here. I didn't dump anything. I'm still holding all my coins. You can see I have a little more than yesterday as well due to the fact from staking and here are three staking rewards on Tuesday, which is the time of recording today and has 1148, 421 in the morning and 343 in the morning. Each one was worth 90 Pulsar. So next to no power staking these coins is some nice passive income. There are a couple steps here that you are gonna wanna do first. Now, once you initially install this, I would recommend you guys to back this up. Now, if you're familiar with core wallets, Raptorium wallets, BitTorrent wallets, anything that's like a core type of wallet like this, you got to, wherever you saved your data folder to, it picks you where to do it. I usually save mine. I make a constant one. I put everything in the same place on its own drive. Copy the data folder into a USB drive or something. That is your wallet backup. If you're 
files or your computer or something blows up or you reinstall windows or something you will lose everything so back it up by copying wherever you did tell your data files to go to save that folder onto a usb drive now in order to mine it you're going to want to click on the receiving address here you're probably downloading the blockchain you can simply hit the hide button that'll bring you to here you want to select the label and now i'm just going to go something like test video and label it whatever you want it's not oh i'm on the wrong keyboard give me a second forgot i'm on the server pc so now i'm going to go test video like so i'm just going to hit enter it's going to do its thing so this is my wallet now this is what i'm going to be using for my test video address so i'm just going to use my normal i'm just showing you guys how to make an address now you can do all sorts of different naming schemes that you want everything will go to your main wallet in here but you can have multiple addresses depending on how many labels you do make then if you want to just get your address again simply click on any one of them that was test let's do test video right there and now you can just simply copy your address and now you have it for hive os windows whatever you need next up we're going to start with windows here and how to mine so you're going to want to go to wild rig here and download the latest version which is set at wild rig multi windows uh 31.97 z and it will get come into here when you download now if you get an error some reason this will does not work simply hit Control j that will bring it up to here and then you can say keep it i trust this program you're all good or as you can see mine didn't do that so i'm safe to go but if you do run into an error well windows doesn't want you to download or it says it's bad or something just hover over it and hit Control j once you do extract that then you're going to simply come into it and i do see it has a start pulsar so there is a pulsar bat file already built into it so we're going to right click on that edit that and that will bring us to our config. So now we got to go to Zerg pool and find all the parameters we need to mine on Zerg pool. Now, remember this tutorial to mine is to get paid out in Bitcoin. So you're going to need your Bitcoin wallet address. Now you did get the Pulsar wallet earlier. That is if you wanted to hold and stake Pulsar. Now, again, we're going to be getting paid out in Bitcoin. So I'm going to need my Bitcoin address. Actually, I don't need that yet. So we're going to select our region. We're here on Zerg pool. I'm North American, Algo, we're going to need Curve Hash, so I'm going to put CU and find Curve Hash somewhere here. See, where are you? Curve Hash, right there. So find Curve Hash, payout currency. We're going to pick Bitcoin, BTC, and then we're going to pick what we're going to mine. We're going to mine Pulsar, which is PLSR. Now, if you were to select Curve, I don't know if there's any other coins running Curve Hash right now, but if there were other Curve Hash coins, it would mine all the Curve Hash algorithm and just pretty much switch between the most profitable coin anyway so we're here so now do you want a regular solo or party party mode is a bunch of you friends can get together and mine together like a solo party solo would be obviously we're solo mining and then just regular mining to the pool which is what we're going to do now so we can see all the parameters we need at this point here's the strat and we got to copy in our bitcoin address we're just going to put into the miner later on and then this is our password we do have to set up our password like this within zerg pool or it will not work so I pulled up the wild rig command again, the start bat file. I do have a document with all my crypto addresses in it. So it's really easy for me to just find my addresses, my wallets and everything. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find BTC. I'm just going to select my Bitcoin wallet right here. So I'm going to copy that, minimize it, and then just simply put it down right here. User is in wild rig, your address. So I got that in. Now we're going to need the stratum. So I'm copying the stratum from Zerg pool that we're going to need to mine to. Copy, open this back up, go to our ad, not our addresses. We need to go to our actual pulsar.bat file. Now we're going to put in our stratum that we need right here. Copy that in there. And now we simply need our password. Copy this, pass X. That is our password. So that is it. We are all set up now to utilize Wild Rig on our GPU. So I'm going to simply save this under Start Pulsar, and then we're going to run it. Okay, so we're going to find our Pulsar Start. Double click it, and okay, double click it now, and maybe this time it'll work. So it's going to do its little starting thing. Here we go. It does take a few minutes for it to do its start, pre-compute, and finish compute thing and everything. But you will see here in a couple minutes that it will begin mining on Zerg Pool.
finished fill pre-compute. Now just hold off for a couple minutes. And there we go. It went to the pool. It's doing its thing. It is finding shares. We're up and running in Windows 10. Now, before we jump into Hive OS, that way you also know for Hive OS, if you do want to use your Pulsar wallet and get paid out in Pulsar, all you got to do is move the C equals BTC over to C equals PLSR. That way you will get paid out in Pulsar and then simply just throw in your Pulsar address where we put in our Bitcoin address. That way you will be getting paid out in Pulsar. So now we're in Hive OS. We're going to take a look how to mine this here. So if you don't have a wallet yet, simply click on the wallet tab and then you're going to want to hit add wallet, put in what you need. So PLSR in this case for Pulsar, you're going to put in that. Now, if you're mining Bitcoin, obviously you're going to set up your Bitcoin address, paste your address in here, name your wallet, whatever you want to name it, hit create and you're all good. Now here I mentioned that Hive OS did update to that 31.8. This is not 31.9, which is the very latest, which is an additional 1.5%. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, if you haven't, click force upgrade, hit reboot after upgrade, and then upgrade your rig, whatever one it is that you're gonna utilize Pulsar on. So we're gonna let this upgrade and then we'll be back. So now we can see we're in our miner here. Everything is updated and our RX four gigabyte is ready to go fully updated. So we're gonna select our flight sheet here. I'm gonna click on it. I'm just gonna edit one I already have, but if you're setting this up from default, you're gonna to wanna to pick Pulsar. In this case, also, if you're mining Bitcoin, we're gonna to wanna to select Bitcoin. So I guess we'll just go to BTC here. Bitcoin, we're gonna select our wallet, BTC. We're gonna configure in the miner. We're gonna pick wild rig multi, set up our miner config. So you're going to wanna select curve hash in your algorithm, scroll down till you find it, set up your default worker name and everything. If it's blank, all you gotta do is simply click wallet worker name right there. And then we're gonna to have to find our Zerg pool pool address. So we're gonna come back into Zerg pool, find everything we had did last time. So we're gonna copy our stratum, right click, copy, go back into Hive OS here paste that in. We're going to need the exact same password that we did earlier. So we're just going to copy this, go back into Hive OS. That's what we're going to be using as our password. I don't use any extra config arguments. Maybe you need some to do some fine tweaking, but overall you don't have to. We're going to run the latest version, which isn't the absolute latest version. I will give you the trick in a minute. We're going to update this minor Pulsar GPU video. I'm going to name this and we're gonna hit update. Once you have your miner all updated, you're gonna hit the rocket ship and it's gonna send that to the moon and begin mining. We're gonna jump right back up into our worker so we can kind of see what's going on here. I SSH'd into my rig. We can see the miner begin. Let's just find out, miner. So it's doing the download. It's installing the latest version and everything. It's gonna start ramping up and whatever once it's ready. So we're gonna to have to give it a few minutes here. Give it a second. There you go, and now it's running. But you can see it's running 0.318, and now we want this to run 0.319. So next step here, we are gonna come back into here. I want to open up the command prompt, which is the run command line. But now I'm gonna go into my personal Discord, and I have it copied somewhere up here. Everyone's talking away, so I'm not sure where it was. So I'm just gonna scroll up to where I put it. Um, where do we got it? Right here, so from the CD spot. So we're gonna copy this, copy, and I will have this in the Pulsar channel, so I'm just gonna make sure it's copied. Go back into Hive OS, and now I'm just gonna paste that in right here and run that. So now it's running that command. Once it does its thing, it should update the miner. So we're just actually gonna wait here, wait for this miner to shut down, and then it should engage. Remember, it's still gonna say 31.8 here because HiveOS doesn't have it, but when it actually runs the miner, it should be 31.9. So we're just gonna give it a minute. We may have to reboot it in the process, but we'll see what happens. So it's still mining away. It doesn't wanna stop. It just loves mining curve hash pulsar here. So we're gonna actually have to tell it to stop. So we're gonna click here. We're gonna unset our flight sheet. And now I'm gonna scroll down and try to find the flight sheet again. It is BTC right there, video, yes. So we're gonna engage that. 
scroll back up overview and now we're going to hit minor again and hopefully we're running the latest version now so here we can see see you can see it's saying 31.8 which is the latest hive os version but it's yesterday's newest version but we are now running 31.9 so that's how we get up and running within hive os hopefully this does help you out and seeing how i have this here i'm going to scroll down and show you guys that i'm putting that command in the pulsar channel if i can find it so pulsar i'm going to put hive os uh command here parentheses couple spaces so you don't mess it up put that in there and then i'm just going to pin this into the channel so pin message yes pin it so now you come into the pulsar channel in my discord click the pin messages and it will pop up here so you got to copy cd all the way down to the bottom and that is the command now again at the time of watching this video hive os may already have this update implemented but if not this is what you are going to need going to need to do to get the latest version going but currently we're on pulsar mining to zerg pool actually let's just double check to make sure we are in zerg pool properties click and let's see here yeah so look there is our test bench it is mining curve hash it's found at the pool it's doing its thing we already found four minutes ago we already found you know a part of a coin so we're getting rewards so it's up and running everything's working 100 percent i just want to point out too while we're here um, i'm using my ethereum settings and we're almost at one mega hash 837.8 kilo hash on an rx 580 four gigabyte card we are utilizing still only 75 watts at the wall it's 96 watts on the meter minus the 22 watt software so you're at we're around 75 watts so that's pretty insane and efficient again you know the next bull run of pulsar pumps this could be extremely profitable on our gpus thank you for watching this video everyone hopefully it did help you out and be sure to share this video so that other people may benefit from this as well thanks for watching i will see you on the next one rabbit out thank you for watching my video and if you haven't seen one of these be sure to check them out and if you already seen them maybe you missed some might have to watch it one more time and if you just let it play in the background that's all right as well i do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week so be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that as always have a great day